So welcome guys. I'm very excited to have today with you Moho. Moho is a amazing artist from South America. He's from Venezuela, but he lives in, in Buenos Aires now. And the funny story is I've met Moho like pff, a decade ago, like 13 years ago, something like that. And he was one of the artists I invited to the first exhibition I've ever organized as a curator back in 2010, 2011. I think it was 2010. I organized my first yeah. exhibition in this restaurant in the heart of the hipster neighborhood of Buenos Aires. And I just reached out to the restaurant and said, yo, uh, I, I, I want to do an exhibition. You guys got a restaurant. You guys got empty walls. Let me bring some amazing artists here. These artists will bring their friends to drink and eat and have fun. And we all win. We get a chance to show our art and you make some bucks out of selling some beer. And, and they fell for it. They fell for it. And we did an amazing exhibition. And uh, from then, it was just like good times. Good times. So yeah. with... Without any further ado, Moho. Hi. How is everybody? everybody? My name, name is Alejandro Moneta. Uh, I'm from Venezuela. I'm currently living in Argentina for like 15 years now. It's been a while. Uh, I've been doing graffiti for 15 years now also. And I don't know. Uh, take a step on when and talk to me about giving this little talk about the process of creating a brand and to be like really honest and transparent with you like I'm still in the process like I don't know how much I can talk about it but that's like, that's what makes it interesting that's what makes it interesting because you are still figuring it out and so many artists out there are still figuring it out so yeah. that's what I want to share with, with the people listening to this, with the people joining us live. So um, let's start at the obvious beginning. Uh, I met you through street art, painting some walls in Buenos Aires. Good yeah. times. We used to together groups of 5, 10, 15 street yeah. artists and just like have a messenger group like an MSN messenger group that's like, yo, bro, I found this cool uh, empty wall in Almagro. Let's go paint it on Sunday. It's like, oh, yeah, I just found one in Palermo. Let's go on Tuesday. And it was just like years of years of years of just like hustling it. And was that your 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 first foray into arts? Was that where it started? No, like my, my, my road started like in 2000. years ago. Before I came to Argentina, like in my, when I was like 15, that I started doing graffiti in Venezuela. And then I moved here to Argentina when I was 19. And the difference between, I can say, between the how people see the work in Argentina and in Venezuela is completely different. Like here in Argentina, they have like more uh, culture about street art. Like, like, they, they can, can see it more, more as, as art. In Venezuela, like, there's not a lot of movement between around. It's just, like, a bunch of graffiti. And, like, the crews fighting and living between each other. Like, like there's, but, but there's not, like, a really a space for, like, I want to do characters. characters. I, I, I don't, don't do graffiti. I want to do murals. I want to do other kind of stuff. And so, so there's simply no 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 space for that there. And, and when, when I came, came here to Argentina, it was so easy. Oh my God, God like, like you can go and start, start painting in the middle of the day, any day of the week. And that's like, like really changed the whole, the whole, whole scenario. scenario. Yeah, and uh, you like you would say like Venezuela has that more hardcore graffiti, you know, that's that's yeah. linked with gang violence and and stuff like that, like the the Brazilian picho, you know, that's yeah. that's that's it's a territorial thing. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, and uh, yeah, it's 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 amazing, you know, the 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 painting murals in Buenos Aires. Just talking about it makes me want to buy some spray paint and go go do one this weekend. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll make a monkey holding a, a pineapple. But now I'm in the process of 
It's so, so cool. So for anybody that's listening to this as a podcast, he is holding a 3D printed monkey and that it's it's his style. It's his style and it's it's just amazing. The, you, you're going to find some pictures on the Instagram and whatnot, but but tell me about it. So go on, check it out later. Yeah. So like everything started as a simple tag when I was bored, like a steel painting in the street, but like the years started to pass and I got, uh, I got to meet a few people when I was tagging in the city that they recognized me while I was tagging. Like they didn't recognize me. Like I don't show my face yeah. anywhere. But they recognized me like, you, dude, you're the monkey guy. Right? <laughs> so, yeah, I've seen it all over the place. And people started telling me that if we were a crew, a crew Right? right, and it was, was just like, like just, just me, me. Yeah. because I did paint a lot in those, those years. And one, one thing led to another. I started doing one illustration for one brand, brand. and once I started, started like getting money for it, it and like I I, I, I put, put the license on my character, and like I got, I got this brand that they made a card game. That is uh, like Cards Against Humanity. I don't know if you have heard of it. Yeah. It's an American game, and they just did like the Argentinian version of it. Mm -hmm. So they want someone to be the, the face of the game, and they just like beat me up, and they're like, dude, we want your monkey to be the face of, of the brand. And it was like, all right, this thing can lead to another kind of and once thing left to another, yeah, one thing left to another, and now here I am. Like it's been like ten years almost that I've been doing monkey, and I feel like I'm just getting started because I'm starting right now with the whole three D world and all that I really wanted to do. Like through all the years, is like make art toys, but like I don't know, life happened and you gotta get get a job and. Yeah, and, and the thing is, you know, it's, it's like if anybody told you like five years ago about, you know, making your own collection of toys, you would need to go to like fucking Hasbro and like knock their doors like, hey, can you please make toys for me? Because, you know, it's like you got all the machines and stuff. I've been following 3D printing since it started, like, but at the beginning, it was like just me You know, people people will, will fall in love with your brand, but maybe they don't want a wall piece. You know, they maybe they don't want something for a wall. Maybe they want a t-shirt, you know? Maybe they don't want a t-shirt. Maybe they want a little statue. Maybe they want an ashtray, you know? I know you make ashtrays. Maybe they want like yeah. weed grinders, you know? You're making everything. And everything is so recognizable and it brings back to your brand. And it just uh, self-feeds, you know? Because at the end of the day, um, you, you are becoming more whole, you know, the, the visual identity, and you're translating that into so I, many formats. I want to be like the next Hello Kitty. Like, <laughs> that's my dream. That's, that's why like, I made my life mission out of it. Uh, like, yeah, if 
kind of feeling you could do it and did do it, and they didn't have the internet, like, I can do it. Yeah. There's no, there's no limitation with the internet and with the AI advancements that they're doing right now. Like, everything is getting, like, really easy to make. Like, there's a whole community, if you don't know that, like, about, the, they make, like, presets about everything. But, like, logo animation, character animations, and now, like, just, I'm starting to make the grid. Once I have it all made, I can start, like, really start uh, doing the whole line of side uh, media. That I want to do. Yeah. I want to do animations. I want to do the kind of that. I'm working with a filter that's this monkey, right? Yeah. With the camera, right? This monkey, so I can make like the podcast out of it. And it's like a monkey in the middle of this society. Mm -hmm. Right? And it's just like a start to. I don't want to do like the whole podcast. But I want to do like the idea, the two sentences, two sentences between a conversation that you have like only between closed doors, those kind of deep conversations, like kind of that uh, Quentin Tarantino moment, but like more philosophical and more like about like for me and my my motto is uh, we were we were monkeys, we are monkeys, and we are gonna keep it. And and uh, it it just like it's it's the theme that that just brings for so many things you know because you, you personalize these monkeys to a level like each monkey you do is unique it, it's almost like those crypto projects you know like crypto punks and every monkey is a different monkey there's like the Warhol monkey there is the Picasso monkey there is the Maradona monkey that I have tattooed yeah. on my left leg. <laughs> I'm not going to show you guys because that would mean taking off my pants in the middle of the podcast. And it's not that kind of podcast, but I'll, I'll show you a picture <laughs> later. Uh, and and then there is the monkey head portraits. And as there's the 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 full body monkeys and and there's like the black and white and there's the monkey tag and the thing is that i, I was just talking about this with a friend the other day uh, because you're obsessed with monkeys and i'm obsessed with pineapple so uh, yeah. i was just giving the example that what happens sometimes is friends go to an exhibition or are on the street or on the supermarket and they see like a cool pineapple or an artwork that had a pineapple or somebody left a pineapple on the, and the bus and course. they think of me and the thing, same thing happens with your monkeys, you know, it's like whenever anybody sees any artwork with monkeys, they're automatically going to compare it with your monkeys. So uh, if, if, if anybody does uh, artwork with a tomato soup can, automatically they're going to think about Warhol. So you co-opted uh, you co-opted an object and, and you are the, the monkey artist now, you know? And, 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 and this, this is just the beginning. Like, like, this, this is what, what like, really got yeah, yeah, me, has me, has has me like, like, real, real happy. happy. Like, like, and through the last six years, six years that, that I've been planning, like, like I'm hoping, hoping to have the 3D printer, printer and start, start doing, doing these toys, toys. That, that I really think, think that are going to be, be like, like the big step for me as a designer. designer. And all, all that I can do, all that, that I did, was just like grab him pen and pencil and a piece of paper and start writing down ideas. So now I don't have to be thinking about what the next step is going to be because I've been writing it for the last eight years. Okay, so so uh, walk us a little bit through the, this this plan. You know, it started it started with graffiti. So you you started making started monkeys with of graffiti. graffiti. Started, started with, with my, my, my friends, friends starting to make clothing out of it, and for me, just 
just like, like it wasn't, wasn't enough. enough. And I gotta, I gotta be honest, honest like, like at the beginning, I didn't trust it. Like for me, it was just like the thing that I do on the weekends that makes me relax and that makes me happy. I'm gonna have a beer with a couple of friends when I'm playing in the streets, adding some colors to the city, and that's it. Mm-hmm. And it, it took, took me a while to start believing in it, like, I can, I can live, live out of it, and to start really believing the Hello Kitty dream. dream. Like, now, now I'm like, like heads in, in. Like, I, I don't, don't think, think about it, like, I'm right, right now the moment that I just gotta do, and do, and do, and start, like, putting more shit out there. Like, I'm working my ass every day, like, I, that thing about the entrepreneur that he, he, is able to work like 100 hour weeks and just to be able to not work those 40 and each day for the rest of his life, life right? right? Like, like I'm, I'm trying not to create the process and to create something of my own. Preach, man, right. preach. That's, preach. That's, that's, that's the hard part. part. That's, 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 like, that's strong, that's strong. Making a toy is, is the easy part. That's, that's what, what I do. Like, I go, I chill out, I make a couple of mate. Like, like, I woke up in the morning, I start modeling, I start drawing, like, that's, that's what I do, that's, that's what made me happy, but the thing about the constant, um, mind talking to myself that I'm, like, not, not, not to fuck it up, and that I'm taking the right, uh, the right decisions right now, but if, is, if, if it is not now, when? It's, also. it's, it's because nobody told you that you can do this. Nobody, nobody, yeah. nobody set us down. It's like, yo, you can be an artist if you want. It, it's, it's like a real career. You can make money making monkey drawings and monkey 3Ds. Nobody set us down at school and said, like, yeah, maybe you don't need to be an engineer. You can be like an artist. That's cool too. You know, uh, there's like a job. Yeah. yeah. And, it took me a while. Yeah. And, and I went, I went to. I went to fucking art school and they didn't teach us any of this. You know, it's like the one place you would think that they would put some of these ideas in your head and it, it wasn't, you know? So, so I, I guess that, that, you know, uh, you can get more inspiration from like an entrepreneurship YouTube channel about tips on starting your own business than, than, you know, and what I you get do, from art school. important to me right, right now, like, at, at least, least for, for the message part, part. and because, because I, I gotta say, say like, I don't know how, it, how it is for you, you. Uh, if you are an artist, or you're, you're just, just like art or, or whatever, but so like, and it's, it's the mind struggle that, that I find it like really hard, right, right? They, they, they keep doing it like every day, day. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 and I'm starting to see the benefits of it. The fruits of your labor, my friend. These are the fruits of your labor. You put in the work, you you have the plan, and, and it pays off. It pays off. I, I, I don't want to say 100% of the times, but it pays off. You know? No, I'm, I'm going to say, like, like it pays off depending on the amount of hours that you put to it. And if not, it, it is not just about playing hard is about playing smart. Damn. Like, I'm, I'm trying to see, see like, uh, following a bunch of people, not, not a bunch, but like, like five people on Instagram that have like a different kind of thinking about the business world. Yeah. Like, also, like for me, it's not right now, it's not that much about the art. Um, art and the, the, the thing, thing that, that I'm going to do, right, is is some, is right, right now it's about getting the uh, financial, financial, financial education about it to, to do it right and to do it as fast as possible, possible because, because I think like as, as long, long as they, uh, also they, they don't teach us that you can be an artist and, and they, they don't teach you how to manage money. money. Mm-hmm. And, and that, that for me is like a really big part, part and more if I want to be uh, the, the next Hello Kitty. Yeah, 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 because, you know, it's because like... I, I feel myself, myself like, like more like, like a businessman than an artist. Like, you know, that, that being, being true. true. Being true to myself, like, like yeah, yeah, that's, that's what, what I do. do. It's because, because I never stop drawing. It's... Like, you see, <laughs> 
it's the art of the business. Uh, Andy Warhol said it, the, the best kind of art is being good at business. And uh, I, I can relate very close with you. So that's why I wanted to have this conversation. It's fucking awesome. Uh, and, yeah, and um, how much did you know? Uh, you, how much did you know about 3D design before jumping in onto this? It's like I started uh, the career of 2D and 3D animation here in Argentina. Mm -hmm. Two years, but uh, I had to check out and start working. So I did have an idea when I started like doing it right now. And uh, honestly, I gotta be, uh, be thankful about the friends that I have uh, because I got a couple of them that they know how to model in 3D, and I got a friend that has a really printing company for like five years now and they like really gave me advice and one of the things that i gotta be honest about is also is like um the doubt that i have at that time about asking for help i don't know how it is for many people for me it's like really hard my ego keeps me apart for a bunch of stuff but like once, Once I decided, I decided that, that this was the dream, dream I got like, I gotta make, make this yeah. happen. Like, there's <laughs> nobody, I'm not, not gonna, gonna stop myself. myself. Just because, because I'm afraid, afraid to ask or afraid, afraid to bother. No, like, it's, always it's being like real nice and polite. Uh, and I, I, I know you, you're, you're, you're hella polite. You're a super polite person. And, but the thing is, uh, it's okay to ask for help, you know, and, and, and we, we don't, we take it for granted, you know. It's like yeah. I, I love helping other people, and yet I feel super awkward each time I have to ask for help. Uh, but on the other side, people are usually very happy to ask uh, to help, you know, uh, if it comes from a yeah. genuine place. That's what, that's what I found. Like, I, I had the doubt, right? right? Like, I always doubt. I end up doing it, but I got the moment of doubt. I recognize it. And one thing that I found out is like people are like really happy to help when they see that somebody is fighting for their dream, right? When you do it like for other kind of reasons, like they might, they might be like gray areas, yeah. but when you do it with passion and no, I want to do it like with a real motive and you're honest about it, like people are like, yeah, dude, what, can I, what can I do for you? Exactly, because they were in that situation before, you know, oh, and the thing it. is, you know what, what the, being able to accept help brings when somebody will ask Moho for help, what is Moho going to say? What do you need? Fuck yes. Right. So it's, it's just yeah. like pass it forward, you know, and, uh, it's amazing. So, so yeah. So you started off doing these designs and now you're printing it. It started off with, with the, the statues, right? The, 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 yeah, the, the started monkey heads. This is the first one. Yeah. Show you the camera. This is actually the first one that I printed in my first, in the first uh, printer. Keep that shit. Keep that shit. That shit's going to be worth some yeah. money someday. No, it's exactly. Number one. Number one. It's number one. El numero uno. And the date. Yeah, cool. of course. Like, this, this is, is the, the, the gold one. one. Like, this, this is the, the stone. stone. That I'm building my empire. I, I like it that you chose to make your first ever monkey golden. You know, that's that that was a good choice. Yeah. It's my golden ticket. <laughs> it's my... Yeah, and then what what came next? The 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 marijuana grinders or the ashtrays? So I'm still doing the marijuana the, the, one, the marijuana, marijuana grinders, grinders and but I got a friend like I, I can, can do, do the sculpting on mm. 3D, but uh, the I don't know how to say it in English, but the mechanism that yeah. you do with the, to lock it. El Pikachu, El Pikachu. Grind, <laughs> to, to do the Pikachu, to do the grinder, like that thing on the 3D program, I'm not there yet. Okay. I'm doing a course next month and to start doing it because I gotta be like self-efficient. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know anybody on this. Another great advice from Moho. Always be learning new stuff, you know, always be getting Invest better yourself. at your task. Yeah. Like, invest in yourself. Like, do that course. Like, I'm lazy. 
Like, I don't <laughs> want to start a course. I don't want to start like metric and doing metrics for how long it's gonna take. Like it's gonna take like three rounds or four rounds mm-hmm. for it to lock it and do the brain. I don't want to do it. But, but I gotta, gotta do it anyway. Like, yeah, the, but the great thing is, 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 yeah. And the thing is, you need to learn how to do it, and you need to do it now. But maybe yeah. in one year, when you need to redesign it, you're like, you know what? I know how to do it. I'll just call a freelancer because my hours of work are way too expensive to do this. Uh, yeah. I, I I need to meet with the Chinese investors rather than be at home designing this. So. Amen. That's, <laughs> That's what I'm working on. Working on. Like, yeah. it's, it's just, just like, like, uh, like I said at the beginning, it's just like, I feel like in the first steps or like everything that I want to do because like I said that I wrote, I wrote a lot on those years and I did, like I got a bunch of ideas that like they just like haven't found, uh, haven't, I haven't found the right moment yet, but I'm going to do it and like. Every time, Every time that I get some money, money like, like I'm investing, investing in it, and yeah, like or towards uh, learning for myself, I already bought the second 3D printer. printer. And trust me, like I'm not gonna stop till I have like six or ten 3D printers, 3D printers all printing at the same time, and uh, because, because that gives me volume. That yeah, I, I can start like really doing stuff. Because, because right, right now, now I'm just, just like doing the whole, um, how do you say, abanico? Uh, fan, like, like the whole spectrum. It doesn't the translate whole, well. Right, 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 right now, now I'm trying, trying to develop, and I'm developing, and I'm trying, and the whole spectrum of products, so I can go out and start selling. Yeah. In, in the meanwhile, just, just like reinvesting and... Give me two months and I'm gonna have another 3D printer. And give me two more months and I'm gonna have another 3D printer. Like the moment is now. And and, and you're you're how how well are, are the monkeys selling? They're selling like I I quit my job after the quarantine. Like the quarantine got me a, a bicycle ride, like delivering pizzas and shit. Everything that I got my hands on, I went and delivered to the bike. Uh, mm. But at the middle of the quarantine, uh, I got a business opportunity that uh, they got a, how do you say, uh, in, uh, in cargo. Uh, like an appointment, like a commission. I got a commission uh, to do some paintings and I grabbed the whole money out of it and I bought the... The 3D printer because I was like, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy a motorcycle and keep doing the delivery, or I'm gonna no, no. invest on myself. Like, yeah. And yeah, man, I go all in. Like, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna be a delivery man. Everything good. Yeah. One, it's, if it's your choice, but it's not what I want. Do you wanna know something funny? Do you know what was my first job in Berlin when I moved here? Delivery. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. and yeah, I got I that money. There. I invested it into renting a gallery, and it all just like snowballed from there. No. Hey Amen. And, and that's, that's what we're gonna do, man. You have to have the, the courage. Like, that's, that's one, one of the things, things that, that I also like find uh, inspiring in people that I have a lot of empathy. You are obviously one of them because. I don't see a lot of the guys that surround us and we we know a couple that have the courage to start doing it, something like that. Mm-hmm. They still get the the safe job in the in the meantime and they end up like give them ten more years. They might do it right now because they're uh, thirty but yeah. once they got like well they're not gonna keep doing it. So Hi to the ones that are seeing us. I see you that you keep grinding it. Yeah, yeah. So, we we, we, we got some, we got some real grinders on this podcast. You know, it's like I, I'm very proud of the people that that listen. You know, I I I know them all, and they're doing great. Um, okay, and uh, so, so where where are you selling these monkeys? How how do they? You know, you you print them at home. This is all like yeah. in casa. You know, house gemacht. Homemade, homemade, mohol touches, all of them. If, if you 
you go to my Instagram page, like, like you're gonna see one of the latest that I, I, I did a uh, MF Doom monkey. Rest in MF peace. Doom is a rapper. MF Doom, uh, rest in peace. That I really, really like. It's one of the. He has a quote that's like, your favorite rapper, favorite rapper. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. And he had a character, and I customized it. And I do like the boxes. Man, this is all handmade. It's like, so premium. I do the cuttings, I do the printing, I do the cuttings, I paint, I, I do the, the vinyl. Like, everything is handmade. It's amazing. But it's for the moment, like, I hope, like, and just right now I'm hoping that that moment when I'm like, no, bro, I have too much to do, I have to hire something. But the moment is just like, this is my job. Yeah, no, and, and it's, you know, it's like, you got to work eight hours a day, you know, minimum. It's like, if, if you're an employee, if you're a CEO, or if you're like a freelancer right. or an art, you got to work eight hours a day, period. It's like, unless you're fucking rich or, you know, like really not into working, eight hours of work a day is, is like the, the human default. Uh, if you're going to be doing it, you know, like managing suppliers and investors and designers and merchandising or gluing the boxes yourself, you know, it's, it's, you got to put that work in. No, I gotta, I gotta be happy. Like, dude, those are my problems right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I figured that out, that that was gonna, that was gonna happen. Like, those are my problems right now. Oh, I gotta go to the printer. Oh, I gotta go and do the delivery. Oh, I gotta go and finish that design. It's just like, dude, I, I, I'm so happy about it. Yeah, it's just Honestly. like, yes, thank you. It's like, it's 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 all your problems. They're they're like not your boss's problems. They're not your clients' problems. They are not your your investors' problems. They are your problems. They are your business. They are your art. They are your clients. They are like. It's all moho, you know, and, you know, even the shitty parts, you can just look at them with beauty because it's like, I'm doing what I want with my life every day. And once you go and you're so like, I don't really take advice from many people. Like, I can hear you. I want to say things, yeah. but I may be going to do the, like the total opposite. And once you start seeing like, I follow and I see uh, a bunch of great people, like a bunch of musicians, artists, uh, uh, philosoph philosophy, philosophers. I don't know how to say uh, philosophers. Yeah, I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> and all those famous people want have one thing in common, and one of the things is like they're gonna. They say once they made it. They all say that the grinding years at the end, no matter how screw up they were, like they were the happiest. Yeah. So, because, because once you made it, you made it. Like, all right, I have my nice mattress. I can move around. I can relax a little. Like, all right, it's good for you. But once you get to that place, it's like, oh, you remember? You remember once you pop up a can of beer with a friend? You remember the day when I was making everything by hand? I had to just stay up all night those weeks and just to make up with all the the toys and the things that I have to deliver. And like, dude, I'm just like hoping for the moment. So I'm trying to be like real present right now and, and really like. This is, this is my problem right now. Like, last <laughs> week, I'm still, like, doing a bartender's job. Like, yeah. it was, this was just, like, my, my getaway time. Yeah. The, do you remember back in 2010? Us of us, us exhibiting in a bar restaurant, Esquina Libertad. I still remember yeah. the name. Man, that, that just feels like we were so young and we didn't know anything. And now we're still so young and we don't know anything. Uh... No, but yeah, I gotta give you some, uh, some recognition and advice that you have like way more uh, attitude towards like working what you wanted 
about this today in, a, in, a, in another interview that I gave today and I was just talking that from day one I thought you know I got that exhibition I thought you know I need to bring some friends to do this with me because it's just going to be better and great if it's four of us than if I do this exhibition alone you know okay. doing, it, doing it alone would be an ego decision you know it's like yeah I want to show off but doing it with friends that was a career decision because I, I thought, you know, it's like uh, Moho has friends that I don't know the and the other two artists has friends that I don't know. We got everybody together. Moho gets more more fame. The other artists get more fame. I get more fame and, and, and we all grow together. And I think that that's that's at the end of the day, the, the equation that, you know, it's like if you want to go fast, go alone, you know, but if, yeah. if you want to go I, I, far, I go together. Uh, that's that's an also <laughs> yeah, and uh, we got a little bit of time before we start the um, the questions. So uh, I just wanted to wrap up. Uh, how do, can people buy the the mohos now? You you produce how many of them per week? What what's what's the outcome? How how's it in numbers? Uh, can can you repeat? Repeat? How how many how many mohos monkeys sculptures are you producing right now? What does that I'm look like? I'm producing right now like in little uh, little, little batches, batches, right? right? Like, like I bring like, like nine, nine monkeys, monkeys nine, nine, five, five bass trays. I build up the I don't know if you have seen a three D printer, but they yeah. have a plate yeah, where it prints, and, and you, you have, have like the limited space. space. So I, I try, try to, to fit as many models as I can possible can. Yeah. And so, so I, I just like to like start doing in the in the, in the bash. So I don't know. Last week I saw I saw seven monkeys. I got only two. Well, I need to bring more. Like one one of the best things for me about this right now is like I don't have to have a, a bunch of stock. Like, <laughs> no stock. You know, and no and if somebody is, if somebody asks you for a monkey that you don't have right now, you're just like, I was like, okay, uh, come pick it up in six hours or whatever. You know. No, and, and right now, like, I'm starting to also like tell people like because it's a bunch of Instagram right now, and I'm still uh, figuring uh, the cloud and all the stuff that I gotta do to check out the Instagram and put the shop on and all the. What you, you need, need to do, do like, like honestly, honestly, I've been doing other stuff, but I got, I have it on my pending list. Uh, can yeah. can 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 I offer you to to have a meet a private meeting to to go over this? Uh, I would love please. to help you set this all, all up. You know, please please please. please. Yeah, because like the, I, the, the the business facade. You know? And and yes, yes I, I need, need that. that. And I know that like, like, this shop is one of the most in, uh, important stuff. stuff. Right now, one of the things that is like holding me back is uh, being in Argentina. Like I'm like really far, so all that is like a delivery package just like cost a fortune. Yeah. Like I was telling you earlier, like I got some friends in Australia and I got a couple of packages to send there. Just like there are friends of mine that they want my product, right? And so I got, I got like a hundred and twenty bucks order, and the the, the delivery is just like two hundred and fifty. Okay, uh, let, let's do what I talk, you know, uh, I, I'm a member of this lab in, in Berlin and they have a 3D printer. 
you know, maybe right. that, that could be a solution, you know, it's, it's such an incredible time because you could have like moho shops around the world, you know, where people just download and print your designs, you know, because at, at the end of the well, day, that's one of the things that I, after our last session, I got the, the image of the product licenses, but I still don't, I still don't have the monkey. Yeah. The STL file licenses. And once I license it, I'm, I'm planning on like giving it away. Like yeah. for me, just like it works better and it it is better if I gave it if I gave it all away because I think it's one of the ways to hack the culture. And I gotta say, like also the three D printing culture is just like one of those niche and how do you say niche? Niche. Niche. A niche. And it's one of those niche, just, it's just like, um, uh, once for this year or maybe ne next year, uh, I want to hack uh, the comic book. Mm -hmm. like those are the kind of cultures and niche that I think uh, my brand is looking for. Yeah, and, and like, I'm not going to go to the uh, art and yeah. going... Yeah, I, 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 I see you more, you know, like, like, uh, uh, like like somebody like Shepard Fairley from Obey Giant, yeah. you know, something like that. It's, it's not like fancy posh art. It's not like this beautiful painting of a naked woman behind. It's it's like it's it's for the people. It's 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 uh, punk. It's punk. It's, it's punk, punk, and is that like that? Those are the, the niche that the niches that uh, I got a point on because. because not, Not only, only they buy, buy, but they stay true to what they like. And yeah, that's it, also it, one, one thing that I want from my client is like to be fidelity. Loyal. Yeah. And, and the thing is, because today they buy an ashtray and, you know, in two months, it's like, oh, my God, Moho got the new Moho MF Doom. It's like, I got to have it. It's like, oh, my God, the Moho coloring books, you know, got to have it. By the way, I love the idea of the coloring books, you know, yeah. and uh, it's it's like yeah. they hot sale, like they, they didn't, didn't last two weeks. Man, uh, I, I I gotta say, you know, it's like uh, I'm working on a coloring book of my own. So so like I, I might have stolen that idea or not. I don't know which one came first, but you know, full disclosure, I love it's you. A <laughs> and I, I want my pineapple yeah, I'll, I'll I'll send you a copy. I'm I'm doing it download only so you get it for free on my website and you get to print it at home yourself and that's something that that's, awesome idea. yeah that's exactly what you're doing with the monkey yeah no go ahead go ahead it's, it's yours okay. it's yours yeah. you know, it's only fair okay uh real quick what what's the future like for you right now yeah so right now i'm working on the book and i'm working on the book like i'm working on the book for like two years and i'm working on the book design. I think that that's one of the most important things that I got to do right now. I started like really polishing what my graphic design is going to be. Like I just, I've been uh, searching for a bunch of in the Hello Kitty page, Instagram, San Diego, and uh, the whole line of characters that they have to see what they use and see what I can grab. From them, but I'm still like looking for another kind of uh, design line, mm -hmm. right? So just like looking at references and trying to polish that. And once I have like the whole setup and I have the whole preset made, it's just like all right. Yeah. Start doing. Like, give give a little bit of start. of consistency to your like Instagram posts and and the page and the, the you know, all, all your web presence to kind of look the same. So it's like, oh, it's all the Moho land. That's when, that's that's when, when you st st stop looking uh, as a guy doing everything on your house to I am a brand. But you're still a man doing everything from his house. So fake yeah, it till you make it. Know yeah, no, fake it till you make it. Okay, man. This this was a blast to talk. I had a lot of fun. I've been laughing laughing my ass off. Uh, my now we're gonna man. we're gonna open up uh, the the floor for some questions because I know that that you know I'm pretty sure everybody enjoyed that as much as I did. So uh, guys, Hi. yeah, uh, what's up? Drop some questions. Hello, Mojo. 
Hi, How do you sell your your uh, your monkeys? What's the the selling the marketing strategy? My marketing strategy right now is been doing graffiti. I started painting all over the city again, and I gotta sell like just like uh, hashtag Rocky Moho or Arroba and Rocky Moho. That is my Instagram page. Oh my and god. I gotta say like, like huh? You need to print a QR code and paste it next to your graffiti so people can scan it and go to your website. Bro. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start, start doing that ASAP, man. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I'm going to the printer later after we finish. So I'm gonna start doing that. And that's uh, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> And to finish up with Cheka's question, and a lot of Instagram painting the walls, I, I got a bunch of friends that have a bunch of followers, so I always ask them if they can uh, share my, my work. I also share a bunch of work with my friends. Like, I'm one of those that try to keep, uh, keep that alive. Like, bro, it doesn't cost you anything, and you, it's just like bros supporting bros and girls, like also. Uh, and that's for the moment. Um, right now, I'm developing the whole uh, spectrum of products, and I haven't been like really able to start doing the work. But one of the things that I'm planning to is just like, I was planning to start investing on Instagram ads and all that, but I gotta figured out that the best thing that I can do for my case uh, is start just like invest all that money into painting and start conquering all over the city because that opens my spectrum just just to Instagram. It opens to everybody. Because, uh, and I'm planning, uh, one of the things like, like I said uh, before, it's not just about like uh, of, uh, how I see it, right? It's not about playing hard, it's about playing smart. Like, I'm not just gonna go over and start painting the city. I'm gonna go over and start painting the city in the most boss located uh, streets. Like the most uh, located, uh, famous places or like near those spots so I can get like way more recognition. There's a bunch of walls when you go deep inside when the side is but nobody's gonna see that. Yeah, like I'm planning on painting on the bike trails. Like that's when all the people are gonna see it. That's when people is like really paying attention. And one other thing that I found out uh, on myself was once I paint a bus route. If you, if you see me once, you're like, oh, that monkey. That's it. If you go in the same route, right, and you put three monkeys all over the city in different spots, but in the same route of the same bus, the, those people, although they, they see this, and they, do, they take the same bus every day to go to work, they're going to think I'm all over the city. <laughs> just like in three those three bus stops. Man, and it's it's like such a, a great strategy and hyper local at the same time. You know, you're like this exclusive Buenos Aires product that it's very hard to get, and and it's just like such a good word of mouth. Also, you know, uh, I I have I, I just had one crazy idea of when you talked, maybe you could do like kind of like a Easter hunt, like a treasure hunt, and leave like a tiny 3D moho close to each uh, new mural that you do and post it on Instagram and have people, you know, like kind of find the hidden moho close to the moho mural. Uh. Well, the thing that I want to do with that is uh, I start doing canvases again and I do like uh, canvases with the Meta, very that, meta. That's what I have, 
what I find, and that's where, where I can see my whole, like, graphic image. Like, combining those three, because I can do those three things, and I'm doing those three things. I'm just, just like, painting the wall, I'm doing the canvases, and I'm making the toys out of it. Yeah. Out of them. I, then I got my trifecta. Yeah, and, and then it's it's like three products that you can sell. You can sell uh, a mural for for a brand or for a club or for a restaurant. You can sell the canvas for for the art lover, and you can send sell the the three D monkey for like the 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 toy lover. So it's it's just like and those are three different prices, so I can get two three three different kind of clients. Exactly. A, B, and C. Yeah. 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 That's one of the things I, I when I'm saying that I try to work is more on my way of or what I want, it's just like trying to see like what can I do what can I do to figure it out, try to reach the amount of amount of people. Yeah. Awesome. Guys, who else wants to ask a question? Yeah, Louise? Hi Louise. Go ahead. Hi Mark. Who, who, who inspires you the most? A current living artist, who inspires you? Uh, I gotta say right now, uh, Obey, Shepard Farley, like, he's a classic. Uh, then I gotta say, uh, there's a French artist right now that's called The Luz. I can pass you the Instagram right now in the chat. Uh, he's making awesome illustrations. I love what he do, what he does. Um, then I gotta say, I got a couple of friends from here, from Argentina, that I really like, really love and enjoy the work, everything that they put out. I can share uh, with uh, Stefan later the, the Instagram, the Instagram pages of them, so you can see them. Um, and from the uh, from the classics. Uh, I don't know, Andrew Hewlett is always going to be like a huge inspiration for me. He's the guy that illustrated Gorillaz, the band. And he, had, he has, uh, prior to Gorillaz, he has a comic that's called Tank Girl. Tank Girl's amazing. Tank Girl is so Tank Girl good. Tank Girl blew my mind. Like, I, once I found out that Tank Girl was done by the same Gorillaz guy, it was just, just like one of those things. That really changed me because I, gotta, I, I do a lot of cartoon, right? And my style is not realistic, it doesn't look anything to it. Uh, but those kind of shapes and those kind of framing always got and stuck with me. Yeah, and now that I always, like, I always watch uh, a lot of anime and those kind of things, but like, honestly, like, who influenced me on my graphic style? I gotta say, like, the ones of the most is Andrew Because, like, Gorillaz blew my mind. Like, and, and from the music and from the visual part of it. Yeah, and, and you do music. You know, I, I've listened to your top secret album. Did it come out already, or is it still on the... No, I'm still waiting, man. Like, there's a bunch of... I need to make this by the space for it. Um, just like this, I, I still need to, like... Working and finally believing in it, like I still do it for the free time. But, yeah, but I, 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 I could see, I'm really, I, I, I'm really busy. I could see some, some video clips, you know, like I could see some gorilla video clips, but moho video clips, you know, and, and you got the, the skills to make the beats for that happen. So maybe think about like short animated video clips, you know, I, 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 I just feel like. I want to see those monkeys moving. It's like that's one of the I want to see them in about, movement. About the presets, yeah. and that, about this kind of animation, because like honestly, it's not that hard. Like you just gotta be like put like I don't know a couple of weeks and like devour a bunch of YouTube tutorials and. You're gonna make like the whole things connected. You just gotta like change these layers with the layers that of your character and the animation is done. Yeah. Maybe you just have to twitch it a little, a little bit. Like that, that, those kind of things are gonna make our work, or at least my work as a future media creator, right? Uh, because I wanted to take our tools. Uh, I wanna mine with a friend. Of mine, they're, they're 
start a video game and you can click left or right and it changes the nose and the mouth and the eyes and the hair and it's just mojos it's just like a thousand just like a bunch of infinite modules and there's one thing right now that they're doing also just with AI so they're trying to make the best of the amount of image that you need to feed it uh, but just imagine, give me a couple months, maybe this year, or for next year, I'm hoping to have uh, the first AI created modules. <laughs> I would love that. Because it, it works like that. Like, you go and you feed it, like, I don't know, the image of 5,000 people. And you start clicking, and the result is going to be like photos of people. But those people don't exist. It's, it's just, just like, like the, the, the result, result of statistics, and that's, that's what, what the AI is. Amazing. And that's, that's what, what I want to do with the monkeys and see what happens. happens. Like, there's, there's a bunch of stuff coming right now out, out with, with the technology, technology department, department that are going to make, make like everything easier. Man, it's it's just amazing. You know, the, the vision that you have for your career is is. Um, Enviable. It brings jealousy. You know, it's. Uh, uh, I, I wish uh, everybody could have a clear vision to the future as as you do. Uh, I. I... Hey, man, man. That's what I can do. <laughs> like, the dream is what, is what keeps me going. Then, then if I end up with like half of it, of what I dream is just like, oh well, well damn, I tried, man. Yeah. And, and that's, that's it. Like, like uh, I, that's, that's my view of uh, life as a trip. trip. Like, I prefer, like, to do a hundred mistakes, but at the end, I tried. And they were like, your mistakes. They were nobody yeah. else's. Man, amazing. Uh, man, I... I, I, I do not see a better way to finish this this podcast episode than on that high note. Um, man, I, I hope I get to see you this year. You know, maybe I'll... I'll yeah get a chance to fly down there but uh only on the condition if you take me painting i haven't painted in buenos aires in over seven years so it, it all right it of misses. course and i have your toys ready yeah, yeah man. man thanks a lot for 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 joining us um My pleasure. the link for thanks moho's for instagram watching. is the bottom guys uh thanks for joining us and i'll see you guys next time